you how to start learning to write macro. So the way I learn this macro is uh, very simple. So to break down for you, first of all, you need to learn how to record macro. Then after that, you need to learn how to copy and paste macro in uh, VBA. So let me quickly start. Let's go to sheet 2. Right. Then we want to start recording a macro here. So to start recording a macro, first of all, you need to tell uh, Excel whether you want to use relative reference or not. So relative reference is um, uh, you use relative re reference so that macros are recorded with actions relative to the initial selected cell. Right. For instance, right, if you switch the use a uh, re relative reference on, right, when you record macro, when you select uh, cell G4, then you move to E4, right, so there's like two cells to the left from G. Right, so when you after you record your macro, right, if you select on uh, G12, right, then you you um you uh you you activate the macro, right, your cell will move two two cells uh, to the left from the 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 cell that you have selected. So for this case, it will go to E11. Right, so if you didn't activate the relative ex uh, reference, right, when you run the macro, the cell will go to um, E4. It, it will be based on the um, the cell uh, reference, not not the relative reference. Okay, let me quickly show you what I mean. So now, uh, for example. Uh, so the use relative reference is on then you can uh, go to macro and start recording right um, yeah you, you can leave a macro name macro one right you can save in this workbook or personal macro workbook so if you select this workbook means all the macros are saved into this workbook only right but if you record it in your personal macro workbook the macro can be used on any workbooks. So for this instance, I will just select uh, this uh, store macro in this workbook. So I just put testing, All right? So now the macro has started to uh, record. If you look at your left side, left bottom side, a macro is currently recording. Alright, so now you can simply type A, B, C here. Then uh, you move uh, two cells to the left. You can write D, E, F. Alright. Then you can stop um, recording macro. So very important because we use a relative reference. So if I if my uh, my starting place is a six, right? It will it will start when I um, when I start to run macro, right? You go to view macros and then you you click on after you click on run, it will write a b c on this uh, a six and go to the right two cells and D, F on the C6. Uh, let us try. So I run it, right? So I run it. See, now now it, it, it writes A, B, C and D, F here, right? You can, you can click on any cells, right? Then you click on macro, view macro, and then you run. So it's all relative, right? The macro now. So let me show you what if you 
take uh, of the use relative reference All right and then uh, you start recording again so go to macros record macro and then you, yeah macro 2 then you can do test 2 all right so now the macro is uh, recording whatever you do on the excel spreadsheet so what you do now is you go to cell a15 right you do uh, test 2 right then you go to um, C15 you write test 3 right then you stop recording the macro right so let me delete a cell a15 and c15 right then I want to run a macro so let just now when I use relative I I can I can click on any cells and then it will it will fill in the cell and then it will move to right right so but because now we have recorded macro not using the relative reference we can go view right we go macro to we run and then you can see it's uh i don't know why it's not uh, writing the test to here oh yeah, yeah yeah okay let me let me let me delete everything because the first view is not uh it doesn't matter what uh, the ref uh doesn't matter whether it's a relative reference or not it will be a starting point so the starting point can be here it will write test two in the starting point and then because it's not relative reference it will go to the uh, the cell just now to write the def so let, let, let me start with a30 right then we go to view macro we click on macro 2 we run uh, you, you see it's uh, it's writing the first test 2 in the field that I have selected then because it's not a relative reference it will go to C15 and write so now you understand what's relative reference and all that okay so now another int uh, uh, I want to move on to the next bit which is uh, learn how to copy and paste macro so let me delete everything right make it fresh then I go to uh, macro view macro so let's say I want to edit uh, macro one right so I click on edit right so this is your VBA all right don't be scared so this is all uh, written by you automatically when you uh, run uh, save the macro right when you record the macro so in uh, just a very very simple example right you can actually modify so instead of ABC right you want to write ABC on your selected few you can put uh, A, B, D, C, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L right and then in your next uh, view right you can write uh, uh, B, 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 B right then what you do is uh, you can save save the macro it's not letting me is it letting me save hmm. I think there's no need to save macro you can just uh, close your VBA all right then when you run the macro view macro because we edited mac edited macro one right so we edit we run macro one see it's all changes now it's very easy it's very simple example so uh, so how do so how do we uh, copy and paste uh, other macros to the existing macro so you go edit again right so so you can actually um, enter enter right you can actually copy your previous macro let's uh, copy 
this one right so it's saying uh, okay active cell dot formula r1c1 equal test 2 so active cell means um, the, the few that you have selected before you start running the macro right that is very important for you that would be an active cell your active cell so your first cell that you have selected is test uh, test 2 and it will, it will write test 2 then it will go to uh, c15 and then select it and then this range c15 become your active cell right then it will write test 3 so we do let's not copy the whole thing we just copy maybe range c15 select right and then active cell right write test 3 let me also explain a bit um, the top part right so this 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 first row and this first row is the same so very important the first cell that we selected it will write uh, a b c d e and whatnot right then because we select a relative reference right this is uh it, this is to move the the uh the field so this will mean that uh, keep the same uh, row right then go to the right uh, two column right so the first digit is a, a row then second digit is a column so you can see formula r1 c1 is that it means row one uh, row and c a uh, row and column right And then, uh, and then this this one range. Sorry, I beg your pardon. So let's keep it very simple. This is uh, relative, and then this is uh, this is not relative, right? So let's save. I'm going to save. Let's just uh, close the VBA. Now we run the macro, we run the first one. See what it does is uh, this is the first our first macro. Then we have copy and paste the um, uh, second part of the macro. So if you view macro, you edit. Uh, see, you can see that it's um, it's writing the A, B, C, D, E, right? Then you it's writing the BBBBB right then it goes to range C15 C15 and then write test 3 right so I can't explain what's range A1 dot select but all this you can Google right and then you you can start building your macro right so if you you are not uh if you can't write macro, so if you can't write macro, just keep recording macro. All right. So close this. Right. So the next macro maybe maybe you want to um select. All right. You want to select uh cell E one to uh, G fifteen non relative. So you want to 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 select all this fix uh fix cell. So what you do is uh then then let's say you want to color it with uh maybe yellow, right? So what you do is, oops, sorry. So what you do is uh, you record macro, go view macro, view macros, right? No, sorry, macro record macro. So highlight big cells, right? Press OK. So now it's recording. So you select E E one to G thirteen, then you highlight the cell. Then you go to view macro. Then you stop recording, right? Then you go to view macro, edit macro. 
you can see macro 1, macro 2, macro 3. So this is your this is your uh, highlight cells macro. So you can control C, right? Then you can paste on your first macro, right? If you want to build more and more macros in your first macro, you can do it this way, right? So you can easily change here to F, um, H, uh, F, maybe F13, and then uh, maybe L23, right? Then you leave the rest. There's no need for you to understand all this. You can Google. Uh, you can Google on uh, what what uh, what you need. What what uh, what is the color? This this is the color. This is the color code, right? So let's say I make it. Um, I can I can make it a different color by just changing this. So six, five, four, three, two, two. Four, four, two, three, two, four, whatever. All right. Okay. Then you close your VBA. All right. So now, all right, you run your macro. So just select macro one because we copy and paste um, this, uh, this, uh, the macro tree into macro one. So you click on uh, run. Right now, you can see all this is uh, highlighted based on uh, your uh, uh, the the fields that we have uh, amended just now. So I hope this uh, helps you understand macro a bit. Um, if you like this video, please give this video a like and then subscribe, and then maybe comment on what you want to see in my uh, future videos that would be very helpful i'm trying to increase my subscriber to 1000 um, uh, you can also ask me uh, any specific question in the comments then i will try to answer when i see your comment with a video thank you so much guys thank you for your support uh, bye bye take care